Hello and welcome. Uh, we're ready now for video seven in an 11 video series on the French Revolution and Napoleon. And the primary focus of this video is going to be on yet another government structure uh, that they put in place in France to try to uh, deal with the problems uh, that France continued to face. Uh, this one's going to be known as the Directory. And so I'll get into a little more detail with that now. All right, before going into some of the details on the directory itself, just want to recap uh, where France has been as far as the different types of government they had or concern. Uh, if you go back to 1789, in the summer of 1789, uh, France was an absolute monarchy uh, where you had a king with total power. Uh, then the revolution begins and they transition away from absolute monarchy uh, to officially becoming a limited constitutional monarchy uh, by the early fall of 1791. Uh, the king still had some power, uh, but most of the power was held in the legislative assembly. Uh, if you're thinking about uh, government structure on a continuum, uh, absolute monarchy would be on one side. Uh, the limited constitutional monarchy would be a, a little, little closer to the middle. Uh, but things didn't go so great uh, during the time of the constitutional monarchy, so a decision was made uh, to transition to yet another type of government, a full-on republic. And so by uh, the early fall of 1792, uh, France was a republic. And so again, if you're thinking about government structure on a continuum, this really puts, uh, puts uh, the government of France starting in later 1792, kind of on the opposite side of the spectrum uh, from where they had been with absolute monarchy. And though there's nothing inherently wrong with republics, uh, as you know from the previous video, uh, things didn't end up going so well uh, during the time of the republic. Uh, that's when the reign of terror period uh, took place and many many thousands of people ended up being uh, needlessly executed uh, simply because they were viewed as not revolutionary minded enough um, after robespierre's death uh, many people throughout france all different kind of categories of people in france uh, were ready for some kind of uh, structure uh, to france that could bring about some order uh, amidst the chaos and that's that's where we get the get to the directory, uh, which as far as government types go, uh, really kind of takes you back towards the middle again. Now, as far as the structure of the directory, uh, this was, uh, was going to be a, a totally different style of, of government, totally different structure than anything that France had tried as of yet. Um, what it called for was a, a legislative body, but not just a a, a one house body, but rather a, a two house legislative body. And in that it, it would be, you know, somewhat comparable to what we have in our country where uh, with with uh, our legislative branch, we have a house of representatives and we have a Senate. We have two different parts that make up our legislative body. So under the directory, there would be two different parts uh, that made up their legislative body. And then on the for executive functions, uh, rather than having, say, a single individual uh, play that role, which was the way it worked under the limited constitutional monarchy with the king, uh, they actually had an executive body of five people. Uh, they were referred to as directors, and that's where the name directory ultimately comes from. And not only did they have five people that were in that role, which would make it harder for somebody to assert too much power and authority, but they specifically chose uh, people from the middle uh, of the political spectrum there in France that they specifically chose moderates to, to work in that role. They didn't choose uh, very conservative or very radical people, but rather moderate people. And for a time, uh, this did bring back uh, some relative order in France. Uh, this was in place uh, by 1795. And over the next several years, uh, actually, the directory will be the government of France. And even though uh, staying in place for about four years may not sound like a lot, uh, given uh, the way things had changed uh, so quickly in, in so much of the time, uh, that was actually a, a fairly lengthy government. Uh, but one thing uh, that we'll see happen uh, by the time we get into uh, 1799 is what had once been functioning really pretty well uh, began to, to fizzle out and have, have its own problems. Corruption uh, crept in, things weren't working the way they were supposed to, and problems started to mount again. And that's where we'll end up uh, seeing uh, the person who will be the subject of the remaining four videos in this series uh, burst onto the scene, and that person is Napoleon. So uh, 
for the remaining videos, uh, we'll take a look at uh, the impact Napoleon had on France when uh, he arrived as the directory was starting to fizzle out. Well, hopefully uh, this video has been helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.